This is my basic unicorn makeup look. If you want to see how I got here and got this, or if you're even just interested to hear me talk for a few minutes, keep watching! Welcome back, basic unicorns. Do, do, do. I don't know why, but like this just feels right. We're just gonna go with it. If y'all hate it, I mean, maybe don't, maybe don't tell me, or do, I don't know. Brandon says yes, but I, I don't know. Maybe tell me what I can do instead. Show off our basic unicorn is. Anyway, welcome back. Let's get into the makeup portion. So I have already prepped and primed. My skin is not perfect. My skin will never be perfect. That's what the basic unicorn life is. We're never going to be perfect, but let's be basically Fabulous. Unicorn. Extra. I don't know. Let's be basic unicorns and show off our very best features every day with abandon and just celebrate life. Let's do that. So let's jump right into it. The whole theme of this video is using what you have. I have a good full coverage foundation. It is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. The color that I'm using is Breeze. It's like the I think it might be the lightest one, but this is actually not my lightest shade, believe it or not. You can just put it on the back of your hand. I've grabbed some there. I'm gonna put a little moisturizer as like a mixing medium to thin that out. Mixing medium, those are some of the words from my art class days. Makes me feel all fancy. So I'm just gonna use a finger. I'm doing this on the back of my hand for two reasons. I wanna warm it up and I wanna make these two products emulsify. So then I'm just gonna kind of very gently put it on my face. So my mom is pretty great, but she does not feel about makeup the way that I feel. She does not like to take her time. She does not like to play around. She calls it slapping her face on. And she does a really good job. That's what most people don't realize. I have a lot of girls and women who sit in my chair and they tell me, you know, how they're not maybe good enough. And I'm thinking, I bet your everyday face is pretty great. So I have gently slap that on there to use a word from my mama. I've gently slapped that on there and I'm using a mostly damp beauty blender. I don't want it super wet and I'm doing very gentle kind of dabbing. When I get down here I don't mind some like swarping motions but still gentle. Up here I'm still doing that same motion. If you'll notice I'm not putting a ton of it around my eyes because I'm gonna add more later other products. I don't want to get too, too heavy. And you'll see too, I'm not perfectly covering every imperfection. This whole thing is not about covering your imperfections. It's about celebrating who you are, imperfections and all. Why, why don't we live that way? Why are we always so hard on ourselves and hard on others? So I've got a good base kind of going now. It's not perfect. You can still see freckling. You can still see my skin. I don't want it to be perfect. Today for me, it's an everyday basic unicorn kind of thing. I don't need to be masked and canvassed. I just want to be the best kind of version of me, which includes my imperfections. So I just have a little concealer wheel here. You can use whatever you have. If you have like the tube of concealer, if you have a stick of concealer, whatever you have. But I like to go about one to two shades lighter and then I'm trying to make sure that these tones aren't super cool or super warm. It's just a nice neutral. So I'm going to pick up the lightest shade in this for me. You'll see I did a triangle formation. I went up on my forehead just a little bit right here. My brows can get kind of crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to take a very small Morphe M173 brush. It's just a small blending brush. It's synthetic. It's round, but it's still dense enough. It does a really good job. Here is a trick about brushes. It's really easy with the Beauty Blender to blend super well and not have any streaking or anything like that. With a brush, it depends on where you hold it. If you hold it closer up, you're going to be way more defined and even heavy handed if you're adding product. If you're blending out, that's gonna do too much. Does that make sense? So pull your hand back. I like kind of right there in the middle for me and then I kind of keep it light. The next thing for under my eyes is I wanna do lots of like kind of back and forth and little swirls. Anytime that 
you're celebrating what you have. That's being a basic unicorn. That's the criteria. I want to welcome you. Let's celebrate life together. Let's celebrate you together. So I very gently blended that in. It might not be perfect. In just a minute, I'm going to go back over things. Now, I'm not trying to get a real perfect contoured, chiseled out look. I just want to bring back the things that I've kind of taken away and made flat. So I'm using um, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It's like a bronzing kind of stick. I don't want to go in with a super ashy color because like I said, I'm not trying to get that contour, contour life today. I'm just trying to add some warmth back in. But I am going to use kind of contour techniques. So figure out where your cheekbone is. Mine are kind of high, but also I'm really round, so I have to be careful. And I'm going to bring it sort of on the edge, and I'm going to apply more pressure at the back, and then lift up as I get towards the front. Just droop. Let's go to this side. More pressure at the back, and then droop as I get towards the front. And I don't want to bring it too far here because I'm so freckly, this can get muddy. Um, the next part, I'm going to add a little bit of darkness up here to my forehead. Now I'm going to take this just a little bit down the sides of my nose. I'm, I don't want the tip hidden, but I do want to just accentuate how, you know, cute this is. And Marilyn always did a V underneath her nose, and if it's good enough for Marilyn, it's good enough for me. I mean Marilyn Monroe, just because in case you're <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of this on my eyelids as a transition shake because again, I'm not trying to live that life where I have on like just a ton of product. I'm trying to do less is more. Bring out what's great. Don't try to transform who I am. I'm just trying to bring out the best parts of me. So now I'm going to take a similar brush to that one before. This is the Morphe G1. It's like the gunmetal one. They're super fun and heavy. Um, but it's the same it's the same kind of brush that it's very synthetic but it's got some firmness to it and then it's tapered as it goes out so it just blends I find really well and then the thing with this I don't want to remove all this product um, I just want it to blend in also fun tip if you are in a relationship with someone who's not a makeup aficionado walk out right now and say hey babe I'm ready and see what they do it's like the best prank ever you're welcome. You can use that. So I'm going to take this brush and I want to lift up into my skin. Like I said, I'm not trying to get like any sort of super harsh contour line. I just want to warm back up and add color. And why not use contour techniques while I'm doing that to also add depth? It's almost like you can skip a step, you know, in your everyday life. That's what we're doing. We're doing it, you know, pretty easy. Over this way. I have to kind of go from a different direction when I do this side to make sure that I'm blending up because for some reason on that cheek if I come down too much it really starts to look heavy for me both sides of my face are a little bit different and I'm not trying to change them not today today's not for that today is just bringing out what's the best part of, of me I'm blending up into that nose part not anything crazy I feel like Bob Ross right this second, like, happy little contour, <laughs> happy little jawline. Oops, that's a tree. I didn't mean to make a tree <laughs> on my neck. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. Oh, that's it. Happy accidents. So now that I've got this, I'm looking around my face and I'm seeing a couple places where I could use a little bit more coverage. I've got a good face base on now. So let's go back in and add. I'm going to use, um, in this concealer wheel, I'm going to use not the lightest, but the one that's closer to my skin tone. And I just want to perfect any little places. Very light handed. And this is a Morphe M333 brush. This is not at all what this brush is for, but I really like it for this. So, up here around my nose, I am going to go a smidge lighter. I have some eczema going on right now. Some dryness and just some skin issues. I think we all do that at different points in our life. And then I'm going to take back that 
um, blending brush that I did with the contour and very gently blend it in. Another tool that you could use is your beauty blender at this point. This is a great time to go back over everything and make sure that everything is smooth and blended before we start adding the rest of our face. So at this point you should look just a little bit funny like weirdly hollow and like she's not exactly sick but something's missing here. You should look like that. <laughs> So we've blended all of that in. I kind of want to go in and add a little bit of sparkle back in and a little bit of, um, you know, glow. So this is from my girl, Candy Johnson. This is from her I Want Candy collection. It is the Candy Glow. I was looking for the name all over. Like, what is it? It's the Candy Glow Illuminizing Stick. I have, like, obliterated it a little bit playing with it. Um, but I'm going to use that on the back of my hand just to warm the product up. And I don't like to go straight in with this because it's a little too pink for me, but I still really like it for these basic days. So like I said, I did it kind of more on the high points. I don't love it on the tip of my nose. That's just a personal preference. Now I want to go in with a cream blush. So at this point, I'm really liking where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and set it. I just have a nice translucent setting powder that I'm using on a really big brush. I'm getting it up on my brush, into it, and then I'm tapping off the excess. When you see it really nice and powdery like this, you know it's a good, a really good product. So I'm very, very lightly going to just apply this to my under eye. So the thing about my face that most people comment on are my eyes. So I've got a really good basic base on right now, like nothing crazy, just a good, nice, fresh face of makeup that's going to last pretty well through the day. Let's move to eyes, because eyes for me are where it's at. I want to do not a lot to the top of my eyes. I have a specific eye shape where I've got a lot of brow, I have a lot of lash, and I don't have a lot of eyelid space, and I have a very hooded eye. So, there's not a lot of room for eyeshadow. So, I'm using a lot of the colors from the Candy Johnson palette, but this is from a palette that I've made myself. Um, I basically want to use a very light vanilla shade as my base. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that on a big fluffy brush all over the eyelid. Then I wanna go in with a crease shade. So for this crease shade, I kind of want to do a little bit more of a warm color. And um, there's a color from the Too Faced Natural Love palette called Honey Butter, which I have found to be one of the best crease colors on just about anyone because it's the right amount of warmth, especially for us girls who are a little bit fair. So I've got a nice crease shade on. Now I'm going to go with that nice kind of mocha sort of taupey color and I'm just concentrating that right on the outside with like a domed sort of brush. Now I want to just deepen my look a little bit so I'm going to take a little bit of like a waterproof eye coal. It's a nice matte black. It's something that I really like and I'm going to take it on a small brush. This is the Morphe M508. This is like my ride or die hardcore use on every one brush. So what I want to do for my eye shape and my eyes, it's super striking when I line my waterline and my tight line up above. Um, so for some people, they're afraid to do that because they think it's going to close their eye in. And my whole thing is my eyes are just kind of closed in. I've got bushy eyebrows. I have a hood. Um, this is a way to bring out the blue and make it super striking. So instead of thinking about myself in any sort of negative way, I am not. You might look at people sometimes and wonder like why are their eyes, you know, popping a little bit more because you can't always tell what they've done. And this is one of those little tricks that um, certain eye shapes can really can really do this and handle it well. So just play around, see what looks good on you. Let me know in the comments if you try this. Leave me a picture, send me it on Instagram, or I don't know how the world works, but get it to me somehow. So I'm now gonna use the Anastasia 
Brow Powder Duo in medium brown. For me, I love this because they're nice taupey shades. I'm just going to use a little brush to um, brush through. You just want a really stiff, super fine point. Maybe even a little bit of a taper to it. And then I like ones with spoily on the end. So I'm just going to pick up some product and very quickly put a little bit of that through my eyebrows. I like to brush back through once I get the product in there. Then I'm going to set it with some brow gel. I'm going to just make sure that everything is good on here. We're going to go ahead and throw on a little bit of lip. We're doing kind of the final steps. This is just a little lip pencil from Bite. I got it as a sample and it's the 034 color um, and I like it. And on a day like today, I'm not trying to do any sort of like crazy lip look. So I'm going to use my lip liner as a stain. And then I'm going to go in just to, with a little bit of Dearly Beloved MAC. It's got a nice brown to it. And then right in the middle, I'm going to do Melted Matte Too Faced. Um, this is from the I Want Candy collection. It's called Freshly Baked. Just going to use a really cool beauty Q-tip. It has a rounded edge and a really pointed edge. I love these. I'm going to use that to sort of blend in that color. Mix it into like a nice sort of dusty rose. It's not all that different from my natural lip color, but I really, really like it. It's a good moment as it fades through the day where if I add chapstick, it's going to look really, really great. We are going to pop on some mascara, do some finishing touches, and then that's it. We're done. So I like to use a waterproof mascara on the bottom. Then for the top lashes, I'm using the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir. Make sure everything's looking really good. I'm pretty happy with this. I would go out in the world like this. So my last thing is I'm going to do just a really quick setting spray. That's the Urban Decay Quick Fix one. I just like how it gives moisture back into my skin. Y'all, I'm getting old. I'm starting to worry about all that crazy. I'm going to use the All Matter Setting Spray just to make sure that everything stays forever. Now my last little trick while this is drying is that sometimes I will get like a nice frosty shade, something just really, really pretty on my beauty blender, and I'll just take and right here, pump up that highlight, make it look even more just like your skin, extra glowy, get that basic unicorn life. Make it to where you still get carded. And that's it, y'all. That's my first full makeup, you know, look on YouTube. My first little makeup thing. I hope that y'all like it. Please let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like, ideas that you have, looks that you want to see me do, anything like that. Give me lots of ideas. We're going to be creating content weekly now. I hope that you guys will subscribe, join below. Have a great day. So now that I've got this whole look done, I'm going to kind of get my hair in place for how I want to wear it today. We're going to kind of go with some fun push forward things. You may be looking at this and thinking, Leah, that makeup is nothing special. What I believe and what being a basic unicorn is, is that it's not the look that's so special. It's you that's special. It's you that's special. I want to help you bring out the best parts of you. I don't want anyone to look at you and be like, makeup, makeup, makeup. I want them to be like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. So whether you took this idea and you made it really vampy, or whether you added a full set of lashes, or whether you were like, that look is a not for me. Whatever it is, 
be you and be proud of it and own it and love it and be your basic unicorn self. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you like this look. Like I said before, drop me some comments. Let me know what you think, what you would like to see. Let me know if you've done this look. Please know that you're amazing and I love you and I can't wait to go on this journey with you. Thank you for joining me and I hope that you'll subscribe and be a basic unicorn with me. I love y'all. Now, if you're watching and you're like, what's a basic unicorn? Make sure you go back to the last video and you watch. I go into crazy detail and kind of blabber on for a long time. So go back and watch it.